Hello, welcome. Today we're just going to be moving through some nice uh, movement. It's going to be slow, it's going to be easy-ish, <laughs> and we're just going to really focus on um, using our breath, finding our balance, and just moving with our bodies. So um, try not to take yourself so serious. It doesn't matter what you look like, what, if you can do the pose to its full extent, if you're um, very new, just listen to your body and make sure that you're enjoying everything that we're doing today. If you have your cat, make sure you grab it and, and have your cat join you for this wonderful yoga practice. Um, so we're going to start off today in a comfortable seated position. And that can be anything um, for you. You can be up on your knees. You can be in this cross-legged position. Um, whatever your body feels um, it needs today, that's where you want to be. <clears throat> so I'm just getting over some kind of laryngitis or something. So I apologize if I have to clear my throat um, in advance. But we're just going to work through this. So Go ahead and begin um, breathing in through your nose. We're going to go ahead and inhale nice and slowly, expanding our lungs all the way out to the sides. And then we're going to exhale nice and slow through our nose, exhaling all the way down to the end. Breathing in nice and slow one more time. And being mindful not to force this breath. This is a natural breath. Last deep breath, breathing in nice and slow, filling up those lungs, feeling those ribs expand out to the sides, filling up the back, top of the lungs, all the way down into your belly. And exhaling nice and slow. All right, go ahead and blink your eyes open if they were closed. And place your hands back down on your knees if they were anywhere else. And then we're just going to start off with um, an intention. So actually, let's bring our hands to our heart center. We're going to breathe in nice and slow. And as we inhale, we're going to set that intention. It can be anything from mindfulness to anything that serves you today. Once you've set that intention, go ahead and exhale through your mouth with a loud sigh. <sighs> like that, releasing anything that no longer serves you today, this week, this month, or this year. All right, now that we are settled into this beautiful, comfortable position, we're gonna go ahead and just take our chin and we're gonna bring it up towards the sky, looking up. Make sure that you're dropping those shoulders down the back. On the exhale, bring that chin down to your chest. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, chin to chest. Bring that belly button in towards the spine. Pull up on that pelvic floor. We want to make sure that we're utilizing our entire core. Exhale, lower. From here, we're just going to take our ear and we're going to roll our left ear over to the left shoulder. We want to stack that ear on top of that shoulder. We're going to bring that right shoulder down away from the right ear. We're going to breathe in nice and slow, filling up our lungs, feeling that tension that we may have on that right side of the neck. And on the exhale, go ahead and exhale nice and slow through the nose, bring that shoulder down, releasing any tension. From here, go ahead and reach that right arm back behind you like you're trying to pick something up off of the back of the right side of your mat. You can move that arm around just a little bit, trying to get into any areas of tension as we try to mobilize this with a spinal traction in the neck.
On your next exhale, bring that hand back to the knee. Drop that chin down to the chest and pause. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, roll that shoulder head over towards the right. So we're stacking that right ear on top of that right shoulder. Beautiful job. Breathing in nice and slow. Dropping that left shoulder down away from the ear. Maybe we'll bring that chin up a little bit towards the sky. Reaching that left arm back behind you. Go ahead and move it around. The neck traction on that left side. Your chin up a little bit. And on the next exhale, bring that hand back to the knee. And we're just going to exhale and we're going to bring that chin down and rolling it over towards the left and back up behind us, making these beautifully small neck circles. We want to stay in the neck and the head at first as we gradually and gently move into our neck. And when your body feels ready, you can start to move those circles down into the shoulders and the upper spine. Just moving freely, listening to your body as we move down into the low sides of the waist, low back, and those hips. Just articulating our spine as we move. <clears throat> Remembering to breathe. Nice and slow, nice and full. Next time that you are at the center in the front, we're going to pause. And then we're going to bring our chin down to our chest. We're going to roll our head over towards the right and back. And our ears now over the left shoulder as we tuck our chin, dropping our head, moving into these beautiful neck circles. Making sure to bypass any areas that are causing you any discomfort. Breathing in. Start to bring those circles down into the chest. In the mid and back. Sides of the waist. Low back and hips. I'm just moving gently here. And making your way back to center, go ahead and interlace those fingers together, bringing the palms together. We're going to start to make some circles with those wrists moving in one direction. And we'll switch directions with those circles. And we'll keep those fingers interlaced and press those hands out in front of us. On the exhale, we're going to bring the arms up. Then we're going to lower them down. Inhale. Now we're going to switch that breath. We're going to inhale. On the way up. Exhale on the way down. One more. Breathing in. Reaching up. Send those arms up long like you're trying to press the palms of your hands onto the ceiling. Ex extra, extra, extra. There you go. Exhale down. Release those hands. Shake them out. Let's start off with a butterfly pose. So bring those feet together, knees apart. We want to open our feet up like a book. Now your knees might be a little bit up and maybe closer to the ground than mine. That is a-okay, it does not matter here. What matters is that we keep our spine long, our chest is up as we bring our shoulders over our feet. Actually, we're bringing our chest over our feet. We're just going to rock back and forth here, making these beautiful circles into the low back. And then we're going to switch directions with those circles. Making your way back to center, go ahead and extend that right leg out, left leg in. 
We're gonna place our right hand down on the inside of that knee. We're gonna reach up with that left arm and we're gonna bend over towards those right toes. Keep those right toes pointed up towards your face. That foot is flexed. We're gonna open up that left shoulder so that our chest is not collapsed here. We want it to be open. So just open it up as best you can. Try to keep this left glute on the ground, left thigh on the ground as we reach. On your next exhale, plant that left hand down, point those right toes. We're gonna swing our arm across our body, raising our hips up towards the sky. We're gonna reach with that right arm back behind us. Then we're gonna inhale and we're gonna lower back down. We're gonna do one more side bend here. Just moving with our breath, moving nice and slow, listening to our body as we reach those hips up towards the sky. Right arm is back behind us, <clears throat> lowering it back down. One more. Pausing here, we're going to go ahead and make some circles with that right arm if it's possible. And we'll switch directions with those circles. Lowering it back down, reaching up with those hands, and we're going to fold over our thigh here. So what we're thinking is we're trying to get our chest to our thigh, our chin to our shin, and our forehead to our toes. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep this right foot flexed. We're going to bend at our waist. So if you have a strap, you can use a strap here. I don't have my straps, so let me grab them really quick. Really quick. This really is not a strap, but it's kind of like a strap. So you can use anything. Really, it can be a, um, a band. It can be um, a belt. It can be a scarf. It can be anything. But what we want to do is we want to keep this spine straight as we fold. So we want to be folding at the hips. So you can either be up tall on your hands as we fold over, or you can be down lower on your forearms. You can have your hands under behind your foot or you can use a strap, but wherever you are, just meet yourself in this space and be comfortable with it. We wanna make sure that we can breathe in nice and slowly. And then exhale even slower. And on the exhale, maybe we can go a little deeper in this. Maybe every time we exhale, we remove some tension. Bringing that chest a little closer to that thigh. Rising up, release that strap off to the side. Point those toes. We're gonna to place our fingertips down on the mat on the outside of the knee. And we're just going to lift that leg up. Tap, lift, and tap. Lift, and tap, lift, and tap. This is helping gain some strength in this front thigh, hip flexor, psoas area. We're gonna hold it here. And we're just going to do some small pulses. So five, four, three, two, one. Bring this leg all the way across the body, placing that foot down on the mat, reaching up with that left arm. We're going to twist over towards the right. Place that right hand down on the ground behind you as you lock that elbow behind the right knee and twist. Try to keep both your glutes grounded here. As we breathe in, nice and slow. And on the exhale, maybe twist a little bit deeper. Drop those shoulders down. Last breath. On your next inhale, go ahead and cross that right knee over the left. So we're now coming into our cow face. So it doesn't matter where your knees are here. What matters is that your glutes are grounded into the ground and that your back is straight, okay? Your knee can be up high and that's okay if you have tight outer hips, we're gonna get you unlocked. We're just gonna do this gradually and this takes time. So we're just gonna breathe in 
And as we breathe in, we're going to reach our arms up. We're going to go ahead and bend that left arm. We're going to take our right arm, wrap it back behind us, reaching for those fingertips if they're available. If they're available, go ahead and grab onto them. If they're not, go ahead and take that strap and grab onto that strap. The main thing here is that we want to keep this elbow back behind the head. As we have this elbow back behind our head, we're going to look up towards the sky. And on the exhale, we're going to fold over our thighs. Breathing in, looking up. Exhale, fold. Last one, breathing in. Exhale, fold. Now, every side is different. Some sides are a lot easier to get into these positions, and others are a little bit more difficult, and that is totally normal. That's our imbalances caused by our daily living. Breathing in, rising up, go ahead and release those hands, shake them out. We're going to extend that leg long out in front of us. And we're going to go ahead and bring this left knee, keeping it flat, bent, and that foot flat on the floor. We're going to lower back down onto our spine. Now from here, I want you to go ahead and check your hips, making sure that they are uh, square. We want to make sure that we're in alignment here. And keep that foot flexed. The right foot is flexed. So we're going to go ahead and kick that foot up on an exhale. And on the inhale, we're going to lower it back down to the ground. So inhale, kick. Exhale, lower. Inhale, kick. Exhale, lower. Two more. And when you're doing this, try to keep that core tight, belly button to the spine, pelvic floor is pulled up. We really want to be engaged here. We're building strength. Next time that your foot is up towards the ceiling, I want you to pause here. I want you to take that ankle and make some circles in one direction. And then we'll switch directions with those circles. And then we're going to flex and point, flex and point. The next time your foot is flexed, go ahead and take that strap, if you have one, and place it around the ball of the foot. If you do not have a strap, you can grab behind the thigh, around the calf, or even up by the ankle, or maybe even the foot, depending on your hamstring flexibility. I like to use a strap here. I feel like it gives me the ability to kind of like go a little deeper um, wherever I am in my practice today. So we're just going to take the strap into our hands, and we're going to breathe in. And as we breathe in, I want you to pick those shoulders up off the ground. And as you exhale, I want you to extend that left leg long in front of you by digging that heel into the ground as we lower those shoulders down to the ground. Now, don't worry about where you are in space here. Everybody is different. So you may be down here. You may be here. You may be past 90. Wherever you are, just know that um, eventually with practice, you will get deeper in this pose and release any of that tension that you might have in the back of that thigh or hamstring. And so just breathe in. We're going to hold this for just a few breaths. Try to make sure that that left foot is not leaning out to the left. We want it to be up. We want it to be square and we want it to be back towards our face very active. Maybe try to dig into the ground with that heel. On your next inhale, go ahead and take the strap into your right hand and you can open that leg out to the right. Now here we want to make sure that we are staying square in our hips. So I don't want you rolling over here. We want to stay square. We want to stay grounded as we open that leg up out to the right. We mainly want to feel this on the inside of that right inner thigh. You can bend your knee here. 
Just listen to your body and do whatever feels right for you today in your practice. Just breathe here. On your next inhale, go ahead and bring that leg back to center. Switch hands with the strap. We're going to take that right hand. We're going to place it onto the right hip. We're going to wrap that meaty part of the hip down towards the mat. And I want you to bring that right foot over towards the left just a little bit, maybe just a couple inches. And then we're going to bring those toes towards that left shoulder. This should be a really nice stretch on the outside of that right thigh, uh, right leg. This is the IT band on this side. Just Breathe into this really nervy stretch. On your next inhale, go ahead and bring that leg back to center. I want you to pick up that left foot, placing it onto the mat with your knee bend. Go ahead and bring that right foot down on top of that left knee. Now here, we can go ahead and Bring our right knee away from, I gotta get this cat out of the way. Move. <laughs> I love the cat, but she's in the way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and keep that foot flexed to protect the knee. And then we will bring that right knee away from the shoulder. So if this is enough for you, you can stay here. If you need more and your shoulders are on the ground and your low back is on the ground here and you don't have any discomfort and you can take a deep breath, I want you to go ahead and pick up that left foot. Bring your hands through your legs and grab onto the leg behind that hamstring. If this is enough for you, you can stay here. We're just going to rock back and forth side to side. If you still need more and their shoulders are on the ground, that low back is on the ground, you can bring your hands to the front of that thigh or shin, sorry, and you can rock back and forth here. Just make sure you keep your feet flexed to protect your knees and that your low back is on the ground, your shoulders are on the ground, and you can breathe in this pose. On the next inhale, go ahead and place that foot down onto the ground. We're going to help ourselves up onto our forearms, helping ourselves all the way up onto our fingertips. We're going to bring that left thigh as close as we can to our chest as we rock our leg out to the left and back to center. Moving gently here. When your body feels ready, you can go ahead and place that left shin down parallel to the front of the mat, and then you can place that right shin on top of it. This is going to be the double pigeon. Now here, we want to make sure that our feet are flexed to protect the knees as we bring our chest up, and then we're going to just fold over. You can make some circles here if you would like. And you can switch directions with those circles. And making your way back to center. Go ahead and extend that right leg out, left leg in. We're going to do one more side bend. Bring your feet back to the butterfly pose. This time, maybe our feet are a little closer to that pubic bone. Go ahead and open your feet up like a book. Now, this time, we're just going to bring that chest out through the arms as we look up. Exhale, around the spine, chin to chest. Remembering to breathe. Exhale, round your spine. Breathing in. Looking up. Exhale, chin to chest. Making your way back to center, go ahead and extend that left leg out right leg in. Now we're going to place that right hand down, or left hand down, right arm up as we reach that right arm over towards those left toes, open that shoulder up. 
Exhale. Place that hand down behind you. Point those toes. Bring that right left arm across the body. Bring those hips up towards the sky. Exhale, lower. I'm going to do two more of these. Just move with your breath. Pausing here, we're going to go ahead and make some circles with that left arm as big as possible. Making three in one direction, and then we'll switch directions. Make three more. Two. Last one. Lowering back down. Rising up with those hands. We're going to fold over this thigh. Again, you can take your strap. Placing it around the ball of that foot. We're thinking chest to thigh, chin to shin, forehead to toes. We want to make sure that that right leg is to inside that left thigh as we fold from the waist. Releasing that strap, pointing those toes, placing the fingertips down on the outsides of the knees. We're going to go ahead and lift that leg and tap that heel down. So lift and tap. Try to stay tall here. We don't want to be rounded over. We want to be up. As we just lift this leg, trying to get some strength into this thigh, that hip flexor. It could be a little shaky and that's okay. We're going to pause. The next time we're lifting, we're going to do some pulses. So five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful job. Bring that leg across the body, placing that foot down onto the ground, reaching up with that right arm, placing the left hand down behind you. Hook that right elbow to the outside of that left knee as we twist over towards the left. Try to stay up tall here. Breathing in. Filling up the lungs nice and slow. On the next inhale, go ahead and release the bind. We're going to stack that left knee on top of the right into the cow face. Now here we're going to reach up with those hands. We're going to bend that right elbow this time. We're going to bring that left arm back behind us, grabbing on to those fingertips if they're available. If they're not available, use your strap, a belt, or some kind of apparatus to help you gain that. Main thing is we want to keep that right elbow behind the head as we look up. Bring in, filling up those lungs. On the exhale, we're going to fold forward. Releasing any tension in the outsides of those hips and glutes. Breathing in, looking up, moving nice and slow, moving with our breath as we exhale. Breathing in, last time. Exhale. This time we're going to hold. Breathing in nice and slow. Exhaling, we coming back up. We're going to release those hands, shake them out. We're going to extend that left leg long in front of us. We're going to keep that right knee bent. Our right foot is flat on the ground, and we're going to just lower down onto our forearms all the way down onto our spine. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that that left foot is flexed. And then we want to go ahead and exhale and kick that left leg up towards the sky. And then we're gonna lower, and we're gonna kick. And we're gonna lower, 
Exhale. Inhale. Being mindful to keep your leg in one straight plane. We don't want to be moving out to either side. We want to be really straight here. Last one. The next time that your foot is up towards the ceiling, keep that foot flexed. And then we're just going to start to make some circles with that ankle in one direction. And then we'll switch directions. Then we'll flex and point, flex and point, flex and point, flex and point. The next time that your foot is flexed, go ahead and take that strap, placing it around the ball of your foot. Or you can place your hands behind your hamstrings, behind your calf, or you can grab onto your foot wherever you are with your flexibility. Just meet your body there with no judgment. We're going to breathe in here, filling up our lungs. We're going to pick those shoulders up off of the ground. and we're, As we exhale, we're going to extend that right heel long in front of us. And as we empty our lungs, we're going to lower those shoulders down to the ground, bringing that leg a little closer towards our body. Keep that right foot flexed and that Heel digging into the ground. So we breathe in here. As we exhale, go ahead and bring that leg a little closer. Doesn't matter where your body is in space, it just matters that we are doing this correctly. So make sure that your kneecap is pulled up. You don't want to have a bend in your knee. If you bend your knee, then we're not stretching the hamstring. And we really want to stretch the hamstring here. So keep that leg straight, foot flex, kneecap pulled up, thigh is engaged. Last breath. Go ahead and take that strap into the left hand. We're going to breathe in here. We're going to take this right hand and place it onto the right hip as we open the leg out towards the left. You can have your knee bent here, or you can keep it straight. Wherever you are in space, just meet your body there. Just be mindful that you are not rolling over. We want to keep this right hip grounded. As we open up that left leg out to the left. The next inhale, go ahead and bring that leg back to center, switching hands with that strap. We're going to go ahead and take that left hand and wrap it onto this meaty part of this hip here. As we bring that left foot over towards the right shoulder and up toward, bring your, bring your left foot over towards the right and then your toes, your left toes up towards your right shoulder. Sorry about that. And go ahead and just hold this here, breathing into this really nervy, IT band stretch on this left side. Bring your leg back over towards the center. We're going to go ahead and pick up that right foot, placing that right foot on the ground with your knee bent. And then place that left ankle on top of that knee. You can stay here if this is enough for you. Make sure you're moving this left knee away from that left shoulder. If you need more, you can go ahead and thread your arms through, coming into a reclined figure four, bringing your hands behind your hamstring. You can rock back and forth here, releasing any tension you might have in that left hip. If you need even more, you can bring your hands to your shin. Just make sure that whichever variation you choose, that you can breathe fully. And that your shoulders and your low back are on the ground. And just rock gently. Breathing in, releasing the bind, placing that right foot down onto the ground. We're going to make our way up onto our fingertips, bringing our chest all the way or leg as close, close to the chest as possible. And then we'll rock that left foot out to the right and back to center. And 
when your body feels ready, you can place that right shin down, left shin on top of it for the double pigeon. We're gonna bring our chest up nice and tall, and we're just gonna fold over our legs with our chest. You can rock back and forth here if this feels nice. Might feel some tension in the backs of those hips, the sides of the hips, maybe the glutes. That's okay. Breathe into it. Tell your body that it's safe and that this is okay. Remember, we don't want anything more than a dull toothache. So if you feel anything more than a dull toothache in anything that you do, please back out of it and know that eventually with daily practice, it will get better and it will get easier. There's no need to rush this process. You make some circles over those legs if it feels nice. And you can switch directions with those circles. Making your way back to center, bring your palms together, extend that left leg out, bring that right leg in. We'll do one more side bend here. And then we're going to go ahead and open up our legs out into a wide-legged fold. So here you might need to move the medius parts of your glutes up out of the way. We want this movement to come from our pelvis and from our hips. So we don't want to be arching our back here where we're rounding. We want to be folding. So we want to keep this very active as we lean forward. So what we're going to do is we're going to place that right hand down and we're going to reach up, keeping that left shoulder open. And then we're going to bring this left arm out in front of us, joining it with the right, keeping that spine long. We're going to place our left hand down, right arm up. We'll do these sweeping motions, keeping those feet flexed, kneecaps pulled up, eyes are engaged, glutes are engaged to protect those hamstrings as we just go back and forth. Moving nice and gently. Next time that you're in the center, go ahead and pause here. You can be up tall on your fingertips. You can come down onto your forearms. And you may even be able to come down even further. Just listen to your body and know that every day is different. So you might be able to get a little bit deeper tomorrow than you could today. Or maybe yesterday was better than today and that is okay. No judgment. We're just moving nice and gently, listening to our body and giving it exactly what it needs today. Breathing in, rising up, pick up those knees, bring them back together. And we're going to come back into a nice, comfortable seated position. Bring your hands together to our chest. We're going to breathe in one more time. Exhaling. Bring those knee, hands to the knees. Extend those legs out long in front of you. Lowering yourself down onto your spine. Bringing those feet together. Knees apart. Hands are down by the side for this reclined butterfly. And as we enter into our final resting pose, if you have low back issues, you can go ahead and stay here, or you can bring your feet out to the width of your mat and then knock your knees in together. This always feels nice. And if you do not have low back issues, you can extend those feet out long in front of you. Let them flay open to the sides. Hands are to the sides. Palms are facing up as we breathe in nice and slow, filling up our lungs. Exhaling, we sink deeper into the ground, coming into our final resting pose, the Shavasana, the most important pose of them all, the one where we pause between what we were doing, what we we're going to do, just to embrace the here and the now in this moment. Breathing in. And as we release that breath, sinking deeper and deeper into the mat, as we feel the ground support our body.
You can stay here for as long as you would like. And when you're ready to wake up from your Shavasana, you can start by adding in a few movements with your toes, just wiggling them, moving your ankles back and forth, maybe wiggling your fingertips. You can pick up one foot and place it onto the ground, followed by the other foot. You might reach our arms up long above our head. We start to windshield wiper the knees from left to the right. When your body feels ready, you can roll to one side, helping yourself up into a comfortable seated position on your mat, bringing your hands to heart center. We'll bring it, we'll breathe in one more time, filling up our lungs, thanking ourselves for putting in all the hard work into today's practice and for loving ourselves and our body enough to want to move it. And as you exhale, I want you to release anything that no longer serves you. <sighs> Making the eyes open if they were closed. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.